Hello, my name is Peter Dennis. I'm the principal of Hewins College and welcome to our open evening. Indeed, welcome to our college where every staff member and every student is important to the college. Um, and as you probably know, we are still continuing with our COVID protocols to ensure that everybody's safe and the cleaning is done every day and sanitizers are available for staff to use. I wanted to give you a really clear picture with regards to Ewan's College because we believe in success and learning and our mission is that all students become successful learners. Ewan's College is actually an improving 11 to 19 academy on the Ewan's Road and we are a member of seven schools belonging to the Rosedale Hewins Academy Trust. Last academic year saw the best GCSE and A-level results that we have had for many years. And some of have managed to get into the best universities in the country. Hewins College is a fast growing college and particularly in year nine, we are getting quite a lot of interest. The improvement since the last Ofsted is that we are a caring and a learning community with really high expectations. Like all schools, we ensure that no child is left behind. Students are valued and they actually contribute to the life of our college and you will see some of these students round and about supporting members of staff during our open evening. So what I want to say to prospective students, year six students and parents and carers, is that our students are talented, they are multitasking, multicultural, multi-ethnic, with many languages and cultures which actually enrich our college. Our students are very, very curious and want to learn. And this curiosity is heightened in the learning opportunities that we give to our students. Our mission for our students is for our students to discover and understand and change the world through their learning and also through their actions. And of course, in order to do that, there are a set of important values that are really important to us in the college and we do want our students to continue to become confident, optimistic and we also, in terms of ensuring that the students are really talented and they're really successful, we have six values that we want them to adopt while they're here with us. And those six R's are that the students to be resourceful, respectful, resilient, really keep on going when it's really hard, that they are rational, that they reflect, and that at all times that they're responsible. And you will be able to see that in Hewins College. Our motto is very simple. It is to be kind and work hard at whatever they're doing whether it's designing software or creating a piece of written work for English or for performing arts. And we expect that all students make the efforts to do so. Although growing, we are still a small college, but we are growing, but every child is treated as an individual. They're all different students and they learn in different ways and we have different approaches of, in terms of analysing situation. We constantly do our best to understand the children and to personalise their learning. As a broad member of staff, of teaching staff, and TLAs, mentors, etc, we always review our approaches to teaching and learning and we closely monitor how best we get the students to learn and we also help the students to discover their talents and unlock the doors to their own success. 
We work together with people in terms of our pastoral support and in terms of our SEND support to ensure that we give the maximum support to students. With regards to Year 11, we remind them that they have a short time span in terms of sitting their GCSEs and we constantly have milestones in order to ensure that the students are reminded and that they can move forward with their success. Like all schools, we aim to give them the best support possible in terms of succeeding in their examinations. And one notable point is that last year's examinations were record-breaking in terms of the Progress 8 and Attainment 8 results for their GCSEs. So for this cohort and all cohorts and all students that come to Hewins College, we have the highest, highest expectations for their learning and achievement. This is my third year working for the Trust. When I first came to the Trust, I met students who were really warm and they were welcoming, and they still are, and you will find that too. And moving on to the fabric of the building, there is some refurbishment going on, and currently the college is in the process of completing a new hall, uh, a new performing arts area, uh, with a potential sprung dance floor, and we are continuing to refurbish the sports hall. There's also further planning and work to complete a yoga centre along with a new gym suite. In terms of the last Ofsted in 2019, um, there were some really positives that we could take from the Ofsted report. Um, and these were that we know our students well, that we um, have really fantastic extracurriculum opportunities, the behaviour overall is good, that there's effective support and guidance for stu students and also effective safeguarding practices. So when you come to Hewins College, I'd like you to judge for yourself. I'd like you to talk to staff and to students and also in terms of your decision to come to Hewins College, all I can see, say is that you will be joining some really fantastic learners and some really great teachers that are there to help and support and ensure that each and every student and our prospective students do well. Again, I give you a warm welcome to the open evening and I ask you to enjoy it. Have a great tour. Thank you. This is our food technology room. I'm going to take you through and show you what some students are cooking. Come on, let's go. So hi, I'm drawing out of icing sugar. So I can make a nice pattern for a cake that I'm trying to design. Okay, so today I will present to you uh, these uh, designs that you can use for cakes that we have made out of simple uh, sugar, uh, simple um, sugar paper. So we have this one here, and then you can also use uh, the ending of this to make these two designs here, and then. You can use sticks for to make a nice little simple uh, cross effect and a knife and fork, uh, metal or plastic. And you can also add some ice and sugar for, to make some good effects and a simple brush to get the effect. Today I've been using some chocolate syrup um, and practicing my plating up so I can practice on cakes later and I've also been using this gold dust and I've just been simple placing it in um, the chocolate sauce. 
Um, this has helped me a lot because then I know what I'm going to be doing on cakes and I don't mess up the cakes. Um, I've also been using these like metal kind of tiny balls just to in, in between the lines of the chocolate. And I've also used some chocolate um, powder that I can just simply put on with from this and I just do that. I not only love food tech because it is an art form and a creativity, it gives me my opportunity to show my decorating skills and my art form. Over here is the, one of my finer products of what I've done. Uh, this is a chocolate cake with chocolate syrup and cocoa powder. Uh, I achieved making this one after practicing just a minute ago. So what we've been doing today is that we've been looking at different types of techniques to make these boring cakes look more attractive. Um, so today I've made um, a Swiss roll with Belgium chocolate and um, a simple style um, but effective. So I've now be able to achieve my cake design. Over here it has some nice chocolate sauce. I've made a little design here so it comes out which has um, glitter inside of it. Then I have some chocolate flakes around the cake and then I have some vanilla icing on top of it with a chocolate ball on top. Same for this one as well. So this is my end result and it um, consists of some chocolate sauce with some chocolate flakes as uh, just a bit of a design and I've put a bit of gold um, like kind of dust on my cake just for a little shine. So I had my cake, uh, I put some strawberry syrup on the sides and then moved it with a the spoon. Then I, I put some chocolate in a crisscross like that on the chocolate syrup to decorate it and make it look fancy. So humans also has GCC food technology and in there I'm going to bring out their skills and give them skills they're going to need for the rest of their lives as well as having lots of fun and being creative like what we've got behind me.
Thank you very much for joining us in Food Technology. We very much look forward to seeing you in September. Welcome to our ICT block. This is where we learn new technology using their computers. Welcome to our ICT classroom. Join us while we do coding. Can you tell me what you're, what you're coding? I'm coding different faces. What are you working on? I'm coding my name. Hello, why do you enjoy coding? Hi, coding is very fun and I can do anything I want to. You too can do coding when you join Heavens College. Hello, can you tell our viewers what you're doing? I'm just repairing this Lego robot. Cool. In our IT lessons, as you can see, we have robot opportunities where we build robots using Lego and then enter competitions nationally. We also have opportunities to code using our BBC Microbits and we fit those to the computer where the students are using programming languages such as Python. All of these things are available if you come and join us at Hurons College. This is our field that I'm walking you to. They're uh, the other day, I played rounders here and I really enjoyed it. And we play various sports here, like football and rounders. I like PE at Hewins College because I get to participate in the Young Sports Leaders, which includes me helping and teaching the younger years PE. I also like that there is a variety of sports such as softball and rounders. Why did you choose to study GCSE PE at Queen's College? I chose to study GCSE PE because I want to be just like my idol Usain Bolt and have a mindset just like him. But for that to happen, I have to study GCSE PE and, <laughs> and study subjects such as psychology and diets. What do you like about PE at Hewins College? Um, before coming to Hewins, I never knew I was good at PE. And after coming to Hewins, I just discovered I was, re I was actually good at it. So I enjoyed it. Okay, um, why did you choose to study GCSE PE? I choose to study GCSE P PE because um, it leads to my career pathway and to get there I need to understand sports. I need to be good, good at sports. I need to, um, I need to understand different subjects like criminal psychology. This is our dance studio. This is where we have our dance lessons and practice for performances. Dance is all about passion and expressing yourself with movement. You can be energetic, you can be all sorts of emotions and you can get out so many things just by dancing. I'm excited to uh, do dance here at Hewins and it's, uh, I, I really like the teacher and I really like 
the, the things that like we learn and dancing and yeah, I, I really like it so much. I really like to dance and this dance is one of my dreams and I love doing dance in Hamas College so this is my dream. Um, every day when I when you have dance lesson, I'm going back by smiling and excitement and my parents are so happy because I'm excited. And I'm saying that is because I have dance and I love dance forever. And I want to be a professional dancer. Dance is my favourite subject here at Hewins College. It's so fun because we get to do loads of performances and we get to perform like big shows and especially in this dance studio because we are a wonderful teacher. She teaches us loads and loads of routines and teaches us loads of different ways on how to dance. Hi, I'm Mrs. Bryden. I am the Associate Director of Performing Arts here at Humans College. I'm super excited about our performing arts curriculum that we have on offer for all of our students. At Key Stage 3, we teach every student dance and drama and music and art. It's a really exciting time for us here at the minute. Um, we also offer BTEC for some of our older students in performing arts. In dance, students get to do all different dance styles, African dance styles, South Asian dance styles, hip-hop, contemporary, and they get taught technique. And we have coming up lots of fun clubs that they can join. We're really excited to be able to offer students an opportunity to come and share their vision and our vision of performing arts and expressing themselves. So if you are a parent or a carer or a student who loves performing arts, who loves singing, dancing, acting, musical theatre, expressing yourself or just being creative, then definitely this is the school for you. Hope to see you soon. We love dance and healing!
and this is where our students do the art and design. Hello, over here I'm drawing a rainbow for All Lives Matter. I'm basically doing a poster about the NHS and All Lives Matter. I love art because it's like a world where you can draw things and nobody can interrupt. Art is really fun. You, it's basically a world of colour. Now walking to English and here we have a muddy scene. We are here today at Bellstone Manor, where 50-year-old Mr Douglas has been found murdered. A gunshot was heard by our Mr Walker at approximately 11.30pm, who came running downstairs to Mr Douglas' study to find him shot and dying on the floor. Mr Douglas's housekeeper, Mrs Allen, also heard a loud noise and came downstairs to see that her employer had been shot and stopped Mrs Douglas from entering the room to see her deceased husband on the floor. Mrs Douglas did not seem to display any emotion such as shock or distress and was calmly led away whilst the butler, Ames, lit the lamp and called the police. The police called upon me, Sherlock Holmes, as they were unable to piece the clues together and determine what happened at Wellstone Manor. They wanted both I and Sherlock to help them crack this case. Of course they needed my dear Watson, and I here with our detective expertise. So here we have multiple clues laid around this crime screen around Mr. Douglas. You can see there is a double barrel shotgun next to his blown off face. You can also see a hammer laid next to his arm. There is a lamp on the table. There is also a dumbbell laid underneath the lamp. You can see next to his dead body there is a half lit handle. And there is also a foot leading outside this window. Last of all, there is a mysterious cult symbol on his body. The only way you will find out the answers to this mystery is when you join Hewins College in September. Enjoy these African rhythms from Senegal.
music, we get to play a variety of instruments, for example, keyboards and drums. Hello, welcome to our math department where all of the calculations are made. Personally, I really like to do bars and charts. I like to do it because it's interesting writing all the calculations onto it. Welcome to Hewan's Shopping Centre. We have Hewan's Bank, Hewan's Body Shop and H&C. We focus on calculating percentages in the real life. I've got an activity pack each for you to do. Welcome. Hello, today I would like to put £60 on my account. Here's my credit card. And here's £60. Hi, what would you like to buy? How much are the creams? The creams are £16, however, we are offering 25% off. Wow, how much are the rocks? The rocks are also £16. Cool. Oh, all the creams, sixteen pound. Yeah. With twenty five percent off. Yeah. Okay, can I buy that one, please? Sure. That is five pound change. There you Thank go. you very much. Uh, hi. What would you What would you like to buy? I have the blue blazer. Okay, they're all fifty percent off as well. So you will be getting this for twenty five. Thank you. Hello. How are you? I'm alright. Um, that will be twenty five pounds, please. Matt is very innovative and can help us in our future and help us improve our problem solving skills. We have my Matt from school that we can use at home to help us with our homework or anything that we're stuck on. So this is our science lab where we do all our experiments. Hello, today we're going to be looking at cells under a microscope. This experiment is called flaming hands. We put the gas into the bubble mixture. We make bubbles. We take the bubbles and, and we set fire to the bubbles and we make combustion. That was a fantastic experiment, but make sure you don't do that at home. At Huens, students love science, and we're looking forward to see you next year. Bonjour, c'est le journal télévisé de Huens. Aujourd'hui, nous posons la question, pourquoi étudier le français? 
Moi, j'adore les Français parce que j'adore les cultures et parler avec des gens. Moi, je veux voyager et visiter le monde, alors pour moi, le français, c'est essentiel. Pour moi, j'adore le professeur. Il s'appelle Monsieur A. Il est amusant et un peu fou, mais j'apprends beaucoup avec lui. Merci les étudiants. Maintenant, on interview par Skype avec le meilleur footballeur du monde, Monsieur Kylian Mbappé. Alors, ça va? Oui, ça va, merci. Je suis super content d'être ici à Hewens College. Ok, deux questions par vie. Est-ce que les langues sont importantes dans le monde de football? Oui, bien sûr. On voyage en Europe et autour du monde. On fait des interviews à la télé et on a beaucoup de fans dans les pays différents. Il est important de parler le français et d'autres langues pour communiquer. Ok. Deuxième question. Recommandez-vous le français à Hewens College? <rire> oui, bien sûr. C'est la meilleure alliance et ils adorent enseigner leur matière. Vous vous amuserez beaucoup en faisant le français à Hewens. Choisissez le français à Hewens. Merci, Kylian. Et merci, les spectateurs. À la prochaine. Et si vous venez, choisissez le français.